I am sincerely glad to see you all today. And this week we finally launched the Combo Bot, which is a perfect algorithm to trade on the cryptocurrency futures market. So not only you can now generate returns, like substantial returns with leverage on a rising market, but on a falling market by short selling it. Okay. So and I would like to thank all of you who participated in the beta test mode. Appreciate your feedback. And big shout out to the entire Beats Gap team that made it possible. Okay. Uh, yeah. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dmitry. And I am the one who has the answers. So we're going to start. I mean, I no longer want to uh, torture your time because it's been a while on previous webcasts I told you that we are about to release this combo bot and this has finally happened so we will go straight to the action and let's switch to the uh, beats cap page straight away okay so you know that now we have free bots basically so as you open the bot section you will notice that you have now two separate sections. The one is the sport bots. So this is for the sport market trading. And here, actually, let's refresh the page. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's strange. Let's go to Binance. Yeah. So now you see that on sport bots, you can trade the S bot and the classic bot. So these are crystal clear bots for you. You know how to trade them, but we will also cover them a bit today just to make the comparison between the S bot, the classic bot and the combo bot so that you would know exactly at which market phase it is optimal to launch the S bot, the classic bot and the combo bot. OK, so as you switch to the futures bot, don't, don't forget to switch your exchange as well. You see that here the interface changes like significantly it it might look a bit complicated but i promise that we will cover each uh, column step by step so you will know exactly what each column stands for how to analyze this data and how to set the optimal configuration for the combo bot so one of the biggest questions uh, when it comes to the automation is which market phase is optimal for the S bot, the classic bot, and the combo bot? So there are, in general, four market phases. That's the accumulation. That's something that you see before the rally. Then you see the advancing, which also stands for the rally. And right after the rally, you can see this phase known as the distribution. Basically, on this phase, those who made substantial returns on this rally they now close their positions by basically selling it so that's in this case a downside pressure on the market those who see the market contraction here no longer uh, willing to open long positions so they would rather switch to the short selling the market and that's why this puts a bigger pressure on the market and as the price breaches the support line over here we are entering the declining market phase so Here's the answer. For the advancing uh, and the distribution phases, the optimal strategy, and that has been statistically proven to be like that, is the S bot. All right. So compared with the classic bot, the S bot on the distribution phase and on the sorry, that's accumulation and on distribution phases, it would make more returns than the classic bot. Okay. When it comes to the uh, rally then there are two optimal strategies that's the classic bot for sure because it just generates more returns on the market rally and now we have a new bot and here on the rising market another solution for you is to trade the combo long bot okay and for the declining market the best solution would be combo short because now you see that there are two options to trade the combo bot that's as I already mentioned uh, you can trade on the rising market because that's trading on the futures market and you know that on the futures market you can not only generate returns as the market rises uh, 
so you take the leverage all right and you gain big returns but you can also generate returns on the falling market by switching to the short algorithm which is enabled in the combo bot okay so if the price falls this is where this is your area of return okay uh yeah so anyway let's see what we have so far so i have now two uh active bots right now the one trading on one inch and it's been like three days and six hours so far and riff yeah so the thing is that here i have all the metrics i need to really see whether or not i generate returns or i'm actually losing money so before we jump in like start off with this one i want to show you how to launch the bot so let's say and that's actually my real account because as of today we don't have the demo mode for futures trading because we are still developing this stage and in the nearest future most likely you will see that you can also um, experiment with risk-free money as you did in spot trading okay so if i switch back to my binance account spot bots you see that here i can switch to the demo mode and i can trade with my uh, virtual money basically and that's a perfect tool for those of you who don't know or if you are a newcomer so using the demo mode at beatscap you can experiment and you can develop own uh, optimal strategies before risking your real money which is not yet the case for the uh, futures bot trading you see there is even no section for futures trading but that's just it just takes time for us to develop this mode so i'm gonna trade with my real money here these are my sample trades so let's assume that i want to trade on well let's choose any random crypto that we have here okay let's use cardano trading to usdt so i look at the chart and maybe that's this is the trading range that i want so that yeah by the way the difference between the combo no that's sorry that's my my fault let's go back now we have the combo bot okay yeah so the difference between the combo bot and traditional sport market bots is that in the combo bot we have this combination of greed levels and dca levels so the thing is that dca orders increase the position's value by adding more liquidity and greed orders are technically your take profit orders so for example for this long combo bot on cardano to usdt my greed levels are exactly here and below are my dca orders so in other words dca orders are basically used to uh, adjust your entry price as the price falls so as the price falls the position increases and that means that your uh, average entry price also becomes lower which is a better scenario in case when the market reverts so that you enter the market lower on average which is good because your uh, loss that you incurred on this downfall it will be full like quickly covered in this case that's what is known as the dollar cost averaging effect okay um so grid levels are here here is dca in this case whereas uh in traditional bots which is the classic bot and the s bot we have only grid levels so that's the uh, primary difference in the uh order types that are used in the algorithm so let's assume that i want to enter the market uh, on cardano usdt and i anticipate the market to to go higher so that's why i'm gonna stick with the long strategy here the thing is that now i need to really choose the uh, leverage and right now here you see 20x but that's only uh, my case because on my binance account i have this setting of 
setting at 20x but here we have it possible up to 10x so you switch back to 10x in this case it will now change it leverage change to 10x so here we go 10x and you see that my initial margin is now 50 which is optimal for this configuration where i have 40 grid levels which is by the way possible from 10 to 40 as of today this is the confer the configuration that we came up with and as of today that's the most optimal configuration maybe we will change it in the future but as of today this is how it works from 10 to 40 levels in total dca and grid levels of course if you uh, reduce the number of levels then your margin requirement also decreases here yeah the thing is that we have this uh, limit up to 20% of your available balance and the reason for that is is that uh, there is a trick in the margin distribution because it can go above this limit so even though you set 70 let's yeah let's set 70 um, your margin can be increased up to two times and i will show you how exactly so the rule is that as you start the bot it will spend 50 percent to open by position so 50 percent from 70 that's let's actually use 60 because i'm better with this number so 60 50 percent you're gonna enter the market with 30 in that case so another 30 goes to dca orders usdt usdt and another 30 which is already added up together that's uh, in total 90 that's for your short sell orders so the thing why we have this split like that is that these uh, sell orders they are in th these are just your short sell orders these are not reduce only uh, orders which is something that you can see on binance so that's why it basically means that in order to set these uh, short sell orders that actually act as take profit for these buy orders you need uh, extra leverage that's why it takes 30 so we already have 30 30 30 that's 90 and another thing is that if the price falls yeah and remember that this is our long bot if it falls so it triggers all of these dca bar orders and if it goes even lower then here you can see the board taking more it can also buy i mean it it can open new dca buy orders to increase the total um, market exposure so this is configuration as it is so 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 so in total that's 120 as i said that your initial margin can be increased up to two times in in, in general okay so that's the risk that you take okay let's reduce i mean you don't need to ask me why it works like this why we have this logic is it's just that this is how we made it uh, based on our tests experiments this configuration as of today uh, has proven to be the most solid and profitable if you are right about the, uh, the, the, the i mean the market timing and the price direction so this has proven to be the most successful strategy so far and maybe we will change this uh, configuration maybe we will change this investment split but as of today this is how it is okay so 30 30 30 30 in total up to 2x of your initial margin um don't remember uh, i mean don't forget about the leverage you see initial margin 60 your leverage is 10x and that means that your total exposure is around in this case 600 usdt yeah so that's the thing to remember that we are trading futures contracts and that means that here we have the leverage and leverage means that basically you borrow money from the market so that you could open uh, a larger positions in order to generate more returns but 
the side effect of this is that by take by taking this um, basically by borrowing these extra funds, uh, your risk also increases. Okay, and that's why we have this margin requirements. We have this cross or isolated mode. Basically, if you have this cross mode, that means that your entire available balance is used as a collateral to uh, to finance this trade. Whereas if you use the isolated mode, that means that only a portion of your total balance is used for this particular trade. As a rule of thumb, um, the cross mode is, um, how to say, technically it is better because you give more space for the bot to trade and imagine that you have more than two strategies like for example you have three strategies like you have three bots three combo bots trading right now and they all share your margin in the cross mode so that means that basically if the market falls heavily then it it gets enough margin from your balance to open this uh, by orders otherwise if you for example for your first strategy you use the cross mode for the another strategy you use the isolated mode you are playing with your margin and for some trades where you have isolated mode you uh, you limit the margin that can be used and it's at some point if the market goes in the wrong direction the bot will just halt trading so it will just stop trading because there is not enough margin yeah so this is something that can happen i mean we will i mean as we started this journey Today, together with you, on, on future webcasts, I will provide you with more tips and clues, market cases, whether or not to stick with the cross mode or isolated mode. So this comes with time and I promise to deliver these use cases. As of now, you need to understand that in cross mode, you risk your entire balance because it's used as a collateral, but you, you give more space for the bot to trade. With the isolated mode, you minimize the potential um, i mean you you split the margin proportionately so not entire balance is used to collateralize this trade okay and this is how it is so we use in this case in my settings that's 10x and cross mode and i have all these metrics here that tell me how many dca orders i have below how many grid levels i have above the split of cardano uh, as we start the bot this is the amount that we will buy to enter the the market it's the maximum margin to be used and that's the maximum position value and this maximum position value is exactly the value that you can get if the price falls down to that point and a bit more because as i said uh, there is a built-in configuration that if the price falls below the lower price so it goes below the trading range then it still has this uh, possibility to initiate new DCA by orders and that's why the the total maximum position value is exactly this one yeah so this is how it is let's launch this bot I don't want to s start with 60 uh, let's see if I can start with 20 so it says now it's not possible that's why I need to decrease the amount of uh, levels let's say 15 so yeah with this configuration I can launch this bot finally let's actually set the stop loss so if you look at the chart you will see that we are pretty much been trading close to the support line but the price has successfully bounced off it so I'm pretty confident to put the stop loss a bit below of the support line so this is the configuration you can use let's go start and here we go so we are now in the market you see the margin so we started with 20 it's pretty much 20 and it's already trading for us you see that's the initial margin 20 that we set the another one i have 18 13 for another one so the change here it stands for the uh basically that's that's the profit generated by the bot plus the uh current pnl so if you go here you see closed positions the last profitable 
uh, take from the market was uh, exactly where my total sum profit is 6.47 so this 6.47 is already on my balance but you will see that I have like one plus dollar in profit on my PL. If I go to trading, I will show you this. So we go trading, futures, open orders, one inch. So here we go. You see, current PL. So we are in the market, and the current profit of this one, its unrealized return is exactly one. So all those. Um, profits that it generated they are already on my balance which is exactly 6.47 plus another one which is uh, an unrealized return so 6 plus 1 is 7 so you see here that's the total profit so far in this strategy and 7 USDT return relative to my initial investment is exactly 44.15% of a return, okay? If we look at the RIF, you see that the total is 5, so the current unrealized is 3, yeah? And here it is on the chart. So this is our average entry price. See, as the price been falling, it added up more uh, liquidity so the price adjusted and that's why the entry price is somewhere around this area and if we have five here and three in a uh, pnl that means that we made around two let's check this out so yeah around two that's the amount that we made that's the fixed return that's the profit generated by the bot so far and that's the profit on your balance already and if we add it with three that's exactly five compared with the initial uh, margin that's exactly 41 percent and the total return so far is 13 dollars okay so a portion of this 14 dollars has been already generated by the board and you see this on your balance whereas the rest is five which is still pending so this is the pending return if, if i close right now all these trades this is the total return generated by all of these uh, bots in total so that's the thing about uh, initial value change relative to initial value and on the right side here you have the information about your current market exposure so right now taking into account the leverage and the current uh, margin used to enter this market and you remember that i told you that we said 20 right here and i, I told you that we entered the market with 50 percent so 50 percent of the margin is your buy so that's why it's exactly 10 and taking into account the leverage this is exactly 100 that's the total position value in this case so this is how it works guys it's pretty simple uh, as I explain it step by step I mean it can be a bit confusing for you because this is completely different from the sport bots for, like from the classic bot and the S bot but I promise you that it really just takes time for you and a bit of dedication and a bit of effort to really experiment with this uh, new bot so that you figure out how to calculate your risk and how to use all these metrics and how to basically read all this stuff so we covered this section so far all configurations we covered the metrics that you see uh, here in your active strategies if we switch here you also can find more information like the total position value you see the thing is why I don't have I mean, you see NA in your liquidation price means that the liquidation price is so, so much far from the current market price that it just not reflected here. You don't see it. It's so far that it's not here. All right. That means if you see NA, that means that your liquidation price is, is, is so much far. So you don't have to worry right now. Yeah. So you know that in, in, in futures trading, liquidation price stands for the price level at which the 
exchange will automatically uh, close your position because your margin is not sufficient to cover the loss because the thing is let's say here is my long bot currently trading and let's assume that my liquidation price based on the margin that i used as a collateral to trade this uh, position with borrowed funds because i use leverage is here let's assume that this is my liquidation price if the price falls to that point that's the stop for me the exchange cannot afford me to go lower because otherwise in this area that's where the exchange will start losing money and you know that exchange they it cannot afford it so that's why it will automatically liquidate your position if there is not enough margin to cover this loss that you currently uh incur so that's the thing okay um and I think that for, you, for those of you who have never traded futures before, we will have a separate uh, webcast where I will explain step by step leverage trading, what is the futures market in general. But as of today, as many of you have been waiting for this combo board, that's why I focus on combo board configuration and I don't really uh, elaborate on the leverage and how it works because these are really the basics. But the combo bot is not for the beginner traders that's for those who at least understand the nature of the futures market and they understand what leverage is all about and what is the risk trading the combo bot because so far combo bot is uh is the one that has the highest risk because here you trade with leverage and that means that your risk is higher so yeah this is how it is and uh, for the combo board we have stop loss all right you know that stop loss it's the tool that we use to minimize the loss so that means that for example if i set it here if the price falls to that point this is where i want my trading to stop because i think that it can go even lower and i don't want to bear this uh, larger loss so that's why i want to stop my trading here but the cool thing that we made with the stop loss in combo board is that it is trading automatically so you will see that as the price climbs higher you will see that my stop loss will follow the price so let's assume we are trading in this area right now okay let's put it here then you would see my stop loss in this zone yeah so that's the cool thing about the trading stop loss that at some point at some point guys it basically becomes your take profit because throughout this uh, area you generated some decent returns and now your stop loss has been following the price and if the price from this highest point which is over here falls then at least here your stop loss now acts as a take profit which is cool because you can be away from your uh, laptop uh, you might be sleeping right now and the market is currently short falling from a rally and that means that manually you cannot close this trade manually you cannot uh, fix like you cannot secure your generated return so that's why thanks to the trading stop loss at some point it becomes your take profit okay so uh, this is as it is the take profit uh, stop loss and of course we have the take profit so the thing about the take profit is that once the price reaches this price level the board will be closed automatically okay if yeah so you you remember that in spot trading we also have this thing as the take profit let me quickly show you this so here it is but here the take profit is defined by the percentage okay whereas in futures we made it that way so you set the price take profit and you set the price but you still can move your take profit afterwards and even if you forgot 
for your active trade to set the stop loss or take profit you still can do this you still can set the take profit and you can still set the stop loss so no worries if you were in a rush if you wanted to go straight into the action and you did i mean yeah you just you just set the bot you you pressed start but you forgot to set the take profit and stop loss you can still do this afterwards you go here take profit stop loss everything is here for you so by the way we took this infographic from the uh, traditional spot bots so you can analyze your hourly and daily average return so you see this what i see here is hourly return so at least you can use this matrix to use for future projections like what can you expect the next day if the price of this coin behaves the same way so this is what you can expect the next day all right so we covered the configuration of the combo board you now know that it is not just about grid algorithms sorry grid orders but it is also about the dca orders yeah so this is what it makes different from the s board and the classic board the uh, the second biggest question that uh, i encountered so far even by reading the uh, live chat right now is what is the uh, i mean what is the best scenario for the s board the classic board and the combo board the thing is that they are completely different from from each other so as i said the s board is optimal for the consolidation market phases as well you see for the classic board it is optimal to set the classic board if you anticipate the rally and if you only want to trade on your money and you don't want to borrow any extra funds to have an increased risk exposure because if you i mean if you are very 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 much confident that the price will appreciate and you are ready to risk more than if you would trade on the spot market then combo board is certainly your option because here you can trade with leverage you can have a bigger market exposure that means that you can generate bigger returns but at the same time you take bigger risk compared with the classic bot and of course the only possible uh, configuration to generate returns on the downfall is the combo short bot and that's the one we will cover right now so we covered long bot now it's time for the short bot the thing about the short bot and let's use let's say UTC to USDT the thing about the short board is that it generates returns on the downfall so that means that here are the dca orders because you know that in order to increase the position value you need to short sell the market so that's why now your dca orders are above the entry price compared with the long strategy where in long strategy we had our dcas below so and that's why grid levels are now here for the short board because i mean the only thing you need to remember is that dca is increases liquidity so you just add more to your position whereas grid levels are basically your take profits so that's the thing um now let's remove all the drawings so you decided to start the short board you think that the price will go like this so you're gonna stick with the short board again i need to switch back to 10x or if you want you can switch back to maybe 8x 7x that's really up to you what market exposure you want to have and how how much you want to borrow from the market so with current settings i need 33 i have only let's say i want to set with 20 levels so that means that i need to have at least 23 okay that's okay for me but honestly i don't want to short sell this market right now but maybe just for the sake of the example let's let's just use 10 yeah you see that's 10 exactly short 10 uh, i'm gonna set my stop loss notice that stop loss for the short board is above because you know that in short selling 
the profit area is when the, the price falls boom and this is the area of return oh sorry that's the area of loss yeah so that's why for the short bot your stop loss is above the current market price okay so you basically revert the market the logic here is reverted upside down when it comes to the short sell combo bot so yeah here it is blah 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 10 let's fix it why is that okay let's let's put 13 wherever i have all these metrics here blah 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 i'm, I'm yeah the uh, grid space here is 2.6 percent that's basically what stands for the uh, distance between your orders so that's okay here 2.6 for futures bot is all right and uh, here we go boom so we are now in the market you see orders initiated current pnl yeah started and here we go yeah notice that for your i mean your 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 short sell combo bot is in red color whereas your long combo bot is colored green so that's the interface we made to make it clear for you which one is the short sell bot and which one is the long bot so this is how it is right now the total sum profit is 14 the current unrealized profit out of this 14 is 5 yeah so that means that 5 is pending return whereas 9 is already on my balance and that's why in total it's 14 so that's the key metric for you guys as far as you see this one green that means that you are doing great so that's the primary metric for you some profit it must be green to be profitable yeah i see that you already noticed this small bag when you click on fix it function well yeah these are some minor bugs that we might still have and we will fix them with them straight away so right after this webcast i will notify the it department so that they fix this uh minor issue question does the relationship between maker fee and step uh, I mean the the fee that you pay is already priced in it's taken into account so if you look at the uh, information like the closed position you see that fee is already taken into account it's here the only thing that we don't really uh, calculate yet is the funding fee because you know that in order to trade with leverage sometimes you um, you get you are being funded or you need to pay uh, the fee as you take the, the funding so that really changes I'm not sure if it changes every eight hours on Binance but for example in case of the BitMEX it's actually every eight hours so for example sometimes those who short sell the market they uh, get this funding fee as a small return but sometimes short sellers also have to pay the funding fee that really uh, changes depending on the current market supply and demand and other uh, and other key metrics that are also taken into account but anyway that's not the topic of today uh, the thing is that we calculate the fees that you have to pay to buy or sell so they are right here what we don't take into account is once again the funding fee but that's the case as of now we will most likely add it in the nearest future so yeah um uh, regarding the original bots let's quickly go back to spot trading let's switch to the uh, binance account and go to spot bots so here you see that you only have where is my pencil these are only uh, grid levels so below our grids above our grids so here you are trading with grid orders um, 
you don't have the leverage here so you are basically trading with your own money so you don't take extra funds from the market so you don't have to pay the funding fee and all that stuff so i i, I mm, highly recommend if you've never ever traded automated bots then i highly recommend to start off with the s bot or the classic bot because here you only risk your own money and here is the configuration is pretty straightforward it's less complicated than it comes to the combo bot in comparison and here you have the demo mode all right so for example here is my current demo trade that i have so before you start trading the combo bot make sure that you understand the logic of the s bot and classic bot and also that you understand the nature or few of futures contracts and you understand what are the underlying risks that are inherent in futures trading because it's slightly different compared with the spot market so start with the demo mode in on a spot market trading as bot and classic bot and once you get confident in your skills you can now increase the risk in order to get even bigger returns with the combo bot okay so that's one possible way for you to start your journey if you are an experienced trader already and you are well aware of the futures market you can start with the combo bot but i recommend to start with uh, small investments at first to really grasp the nature of this bot i can show you my futures history so these are my sample trades and i was unfortunate <laughs> enough to uh, have this free uh, losing positions so you see i lost twice remember i told you that your initial margin can be increased by two times and this is what happened here the price went in the opposite direction and unfortunately i lost here so that's why i invested 41 and lost 84 so yeah that's the maximum loss basically and yeah so here how it is but in in in, in general like if you take all these trades that i have in total the uh, sum profit is 26 dollars so i am still in profit but these were my sample trades i'm just showing you here that how your risk exposure can change so i, I started with 41 but i lost 84 because remember i told you that in the combo bot your initial margin can be increased up to two times so that's exactly what happened here you see initial 30 but i lost 60 because the market went in the opposite direction heavily that's why it uh, increased the market exposure and at some point stop loss was triggered and that's why i lost 60 here my my double initial uh, margin so this is how it is okay and yeah you can use this uh, past trades to analyze them to see where you were wrong Mm, so that next time you avoid doing the same mistakes and we will add more metrics here so you could analyze so you, i mean you would have more information about your past trades so you could compare them with one another to support your weaknesses and strength and you should work on your weaknesses you need to get rid of them and to strength and to more focus on your strength so that's something that we are also working on we want to make sure that you get enough of the information in this matrix so that you could analyze your trading performance okay so let's see what else i promised to cover today yeah so as i said the s bot classic combo they are for different market scenarios the combo bot is the one with the highest risk and it requires you to have more knowledge about the market because it's futures market it's different from the spot market all right so we also cover the risk management we also have the stop loss but that's in in case of the combo board that's a trading stop loss which is even better because it at some point becomes our take profit we also have the original take profit uh, yeah so we covered all these things and let's see uh what questions you have so far 
so you don't see the combo bot on my screen only see the s bot and the classic one so you need to switch to the futures exchange okay so just make sure that you have like on binance in order to trade futures there are two api keys the one which is original and the one for futures okay so you go my exchanges you see i have binance here and binance futures so that's the thing in order to make this one there is uh yeah we have we ha in, in the help desk center on beats gap we have a step-by-step -step explanation how to s configure the api to trade binance futures maybe i can quickly find it for you guys let me show you or i hope that paul will help me right now and he will send you this link so you could find the uh exact step-by-step -step explanation how to set the api how to create and set up binance api futures yeah yeah so here it is explanation for the api so you can trade futures bot only if you have binance futures api enabled as in my case you see i switched to futures and now i can trade the combo bot that's the thing check if you have binance futures enabled uh, so the stop loss is recommended even if you are confident that the market will go your way that's the question from the the egyptian the egyptian boy yeah i mean as a rule of thumb and i really urge you to do this set the stop loss always because that is the ultimate solution to minimize the potential risk okay once you start trading and you have this stop loss enabled this is the only i mean that limits your loss so you won't see bigger losses as the price falls further down okay that's why stop loss from my um, practical experience is a must-have um, order to minimize the potential risk okay so make sure to trade with the stop loss just to have a better control over your risk and to minimize the potential loss okay in futures that's essentially important because futures we have uh, higher risks and that's why we need to really control this risk and the stop loss is the ultimate solution and remember that at some point if the price goes higher for your long bot at some point you know that stop loss is trading it becomes your take profit so that's the cool thing about stop loss in the combo bot that it not only minimizes the potential risk but it also uh, secures your generated returns at some point in the future mm -hmm. so you see all these active trades right now and some doing well some doing worse like this one we're just a bit losing here but the thing is that you can see the exact investment split as you go to trading you go here you go to uh, open orders and here we have these are all our four active combo bots for cardano let's look at it you see exactly here we have this ah uh, yeah that the cardano is the one that we short sell right now yeah so that means that above we have dca orders and below we have grid orders so yeah that's the thing for the cardano so you see the exact amount it will buy and sell the investment split and all that stuff so full transparency uh, everything is here crystal clear and th by the way the biggest recommendation is if you have an active combo bot let's say the one i have on cardana don't trade manually on this cryptocurrency pair so don't um, add more risk by manually opening the short sell position over here because this will create a conflict between the bot and your manual trade so don't do that for 
the uh, reason to avoid this conflict. If you trade Cardano and USDT, like I mean, if you have this active bot already, then do not interrupt it. Do not create the conflict by opening another manual trade on your futures account. So that's the um, alert for you guys. So yeah, so far we have for the combo bot only Binance enabled, but in the future we will of course add more uh, exchanges that support futures trading. It is just that um, on other exchanges some settings are different from the one that Binance set. That's why we need to really figure out the ultimate template. And that's something that we are working on. So no worries, we will add more exchanges as we did then we first time launched the S bot and the classic bot because you know that in the classic and S bot we support multiple exchanges and now we just I mean this is the first week we launched this bot so that's my we just started our journey together and you will see more features uh, being added you will see more functionality more mobility you will see maybe some interface changes and probably you will get well not, not probably most likely you will see the demo mode for futures trading yeah so we are doing everything for you guys so that you get the maximum out of this so you get all the tools to maximize your returns and to minimize the loss okay that's what we do Let's see other questions yeah so the thing is that bitscap is an all-in-one platform so not only you can trade futures contracts uh, manually like here in the trading section manual trade but now you can trade with the outer bot on the futures market you can also set spot bots on the spot market yeah and you can also manually trade on the spot market and by the way don't forget about this useful thing that we have on the spot market trading then you launch i mean then you want to enter the market let's say with limit buy order is that we actually let's switch quickly to the demo mode is that we actually calculate the potential return and the risk that you take so as you said for example multiple take profits it calculates the exact return that you get from this trade as all these take profit are reached and the stop loss it calculates the exact risk that you take and as a rule of thumb i always urge to take I mean to to trade only if the potential profit is 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 higher I mean it's bigger than the projected loss because otherwise if your risk is higher than the potential profit it literally makes no sense from the risk management standpoint to uh, trade this coin if the current market conditions are perfect to have this stop loss like in this case that's only three percent down from the current price and you see that most likely the price will go higher you set all these take profits projected profit 107 then go for it because here the the risk you take like for one dollar of risk that you take you get two dollars as a return so that's the ratio of one to two which is optimal okay at least make sure that your ratio of return to risk is uh, in general higher than two okay so this would be the perfect ratio for you to trade but yeah that's what stands for the risk management in the sport market and yeah the cool thing about beats gap is that you can trade uh, all account like on, on all exchanges just at one place so that's once again an all-in-one platform it makes it simple you spend less time on opening new uh, websites like new exchanges where you have accounts so you don't have to have multiple 
layouts it just while all in one platform and yeah as we launch the combo bot you can now trade with the bot on the futures market okay so that's the thing about the combo bot um yeah just once again experiment with small investments just to make sure that you understand the nature and you fully realize the risk that you take because remember you see here i said 16 and it can be increased up to two times so you can lose actually 32 dollars in this trade because of the uh, margin split that we enabled in this bot okay so once again 50 percent out of this 16 goes to the instant buy order so it's going to enter with 10 usdt already another eight is for these uh, grids another eight is for these dcas and in case if the price falls below the lower price we still have other dcas that will be set here eight dollars okay so your risk in this case can be up to the double so don't forget about this one and of course we have uh, the article coming soon and we also have the full explanation how to launch the combo board with long and short strategies in the help desk here at Beatscap as you go to the knowledge base so we have it uh, here for you so don't forget to use it and I promise that on future webcasts, and the next one is going to be next Thursday actually, that I will provide you with more tips and clues on how to trade the combo bot with more use cases. And I will also show you some strategies of when to start the long bot or the short bot based on some indicators and pattern analysis. So. Uh, today my aim was to introduce the combo bot for you to explain the risk underlying the uh, the metrics that you see here the interface and that and it actually outline the the roadmap that I want to follow so you now know that next webcast you will get more tips and clues and more use cases so yeah